Assalamu alaikum, hey guys, welcome back to Rooks How have you guys been? It's been a minute, right? So, uh, yeah, <laughs> oh my god, my name is Rook M. Muhammad Salisu, and if you're a channel subscriber, thank you so much for being here. If this is your first time on my channel, thank you as well for being here. Do click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever a new video is being uploaded. <sighs> as usual, it's windy, and <laughs> oh god, okay, let's just slow down a little bit so yeah today is sunday the first day of the week i think yeah the first day of the week it's currently past nine i have class by 10 11 i'm not sure because yeah we're not re i'm not sure of the time but it's usually between that time and i so yeah i had class by 10 30 11 something like that and it's like currently past nine as i've said so i just wanted to go in like real early and just handle a few things before class starts and yeah you know feeling the good student vibe that day and do you guys know what happened last week i had filmed a content oh my god i don't know if you guys are just getting tired of me complaining about how my things how things just keep going wrong oh yeah i think before i complain to you guys i'll just catch up with you guys later on and i will tell you guys what happened i think i'll meet you guys next when i pick up the camera bye <laughs> dreams yeah in my life i dream a lot of things in my life you dream i dream they dream we dream because we don't be satisfied for what we have we have different dreams in our Assalamu alaikum, hey guys. Okay, let me just take it off. So, uh, we've just finished classes. Oh, I don't know if the lightning is okay. Let's see. So we can. Oh, it's better. Like we just finished classes, and I think I'm about to go home. Today there's not there's not really much going on because it's just I just have a single class which lasted for like <laughs> this is like the longest class i've ever had well the teacher came an hour early so like we've been seated in the hall for like almost three hours and so it felt like we've been in that class since ages so i'm just ready to get home now and later on i think i think today i'm thinking of keeping english club today because i've got a lot i have a test coming next week and some preparation um some presentation to prepare for and i just want to be because i've had a crazy weekend i can't say that i really had like my weekend was uh okay why is it too dark so i kind of have a crazy weekend i wouldn't call it a crazy one but it's just that it didn't really feel like a weekend it's just like normal days for me so i want to feel like i just want to relax a little bit today since i'm done for the day and just focus on other things so i think i'm just gonna head out now and just go home so i'll i think i might t talk to you guys later on during the day i don't really know but we'll see about that so bye oh god it's too light out so yeah after class when i came out like i had forgotten i almost forgot that i haven't prayed because the teacher came uh, really early and i was about to actually go pray when he came into the class so i had to wait and i was like oh i have two hours you know to go pray after the class but then no he kind of like exceeded so but thankfully like the time of the horror has not like um uh god what's the word yeah i prayed i, I prayed on time and I haven't got home actually before Asr, so Alhamdulillah. So the gate is closed from the masjid. I was thinking of going through the other, but then I noticed that it, they still they left it open. I'm surprised because they hardly do so. Yeah, when I noticed, I'm like, okay, yeah, why not just make use of the opportunity since they've left it open, just go through it. I mean, it's easier for me. So yeah, I'm just gonna go, you guys. Uh, I got a new niqab, my other niqab, I don't know if you guys have noticed, like uh, this thing, I kind of 
left it in the cafeteria of the hostel. I went to grab something and it was like on my hand and I dropped it on a table. It was when I reached my room that I noticed that I was not with my niqab. So when I went back, they have removed that little tag of it. Like a little girl, a little girl picked it up and she was playing with it. So like I was really sad and then I felt like, okay, it's a little bit old, Shuya. So I think it's time for a change. So I got a new one. So yeah, this that you're seeing me working on. Oh my god, I love working on this uh, red. Um, God, what's the color? Yellow and black side tracks because I just feel like the inner child in me still wants to work on those. I remember when we were going to Islamia with my sisters, we we used to follow those on our way, and so whenever I see them, I just remember that memory and. It's just so fun for me. My friend really hates me to work on that. She's like, you're not a child. Come on, get up. And there was a time that it like it got really embarrassing because I was walking and I almost fell on it. And I did like there were some people coming close to me and I didn't notice them because I was like so engrossed in like focusing on my steps. So when I started working on these trails, I almost fell and there I just heard like people chuckling i looked up and i saw them and it was when i went past them that i knew that oh my god i even knew one of them so you know what i don't care because i just don't care so today has not been like super stressful like other days even though it was a little bit like tiring but it's okay so um this week is going to be really crazy because we have I, I think, yeah, I told you guys we have test coming up next week and I have presentation and like exams are just coming. They're just around the corner, even though some faculties have started writing their exams, like ever since the second week of resumption, because they're using the block system that's curse by curse system. And we're using the longitudinal semester system. So, yeah, uh, I'm just, yeah, school is really stressful. And as I've told you, most of the teachers, they want to finish everything before Ramadan because it's going to be super, super, super stressful. And during Ramadan, like, you won't have time to study. You won't have time for your ibadah and you won't just have time. Like, it's just going to be super stressful. So it's better for us to be super stressed right now than to be stressed in Ramadan. That way, when Ramadan comes, you only have time to, um, you only have time for your ibadah. And that's really cool, I think. So, yeah. <laughs> Guys, I've been wanting to also get back to the gym. Oh my God. Like I've been saying it in my head because I can't remember when last I was at the gym or did any like exercise apart from just walking to school and come, like just walking whenever I'm going, I usually walk there, walk to the place, on, except if, if it's kind of like really far. So my motivation needs motivation for me to get back to the gym, honestly, because I don't know how it's going to be. So guys, yeah, this change of plans. I am going to, I'm not going back to the hostel straight, um, like to go and relax. No, I'm going back to the hostel, freshen up and then come back and go study. I don't think I'll be going to the library because I just, I just don't like going to libraries like I'd rather go somewhere, sit in a class and study. I feel much comfortable studying like that than studying in in a library. So I'm just going to head there. So um, one of my, one of you guys comment and I find that so kind of you guys to actually check up on me. Like uh, her name is Hamdallah Ali. Uh, she asked me if I was doing okay. Why haven't I posted? I'll put her comment up on the screen for you guys to see. So I haven't posted last week because uh, I lost most of my contents that I created last week because it got corrupted. So I just had to delete everything and it was super sad. Like, honestly, voila, I felt so sad because of that and I couldn't create any content last week, but I am back this week with another content. And then another one uh, wanted me to film a video about what has been going on in Sudan. Yes, I know most people are terrified about what they see on the news in Sudan, but trust me, it's not hap it is not yes of course it is happening but it is not happening in the part of sudan where we are we are in the we are in the khartoum state and it's the capital city of khartoum of sudan and it's it's kind of like it's really safe here because things are just going on life keeps moving on 
So most of the protest that's going on, it's outside the city, not in the city. That's so. Thank you so much for that. And I assure you guys that we are safe and we like life is moving. So yeah, thank you guys. <laughs> I ended up in one of one of the new places that I've seen. They opened just lately and I have been eyeing that place because it looks too much of Guring Engine Engayu. I don't have the English word for that honestly, but I'll try to put like it looks too fancy. Okay, like it just and not too fancy but it just looks cozy and like really nice place so i just had to crash over there and yeah this is me just trying to adjust my guy because it has been i don't know what's wrong with it it's like super stretch not that not like the old one that i had so yeah i'm just trying to adjust it before like you know adjust everything get in the sitting position have everything in order and that's when i realized that i have a i've not brought my ruler with me so i'm just going to use the old method that we used to rule lines using the full scalp paper to just rule out the lines and yeah that's me doing that right there so yeah i just ruled it i used i placed it on top of it and then i ruled the line with it so uh, i started writing the assignment for um for the other course that i had yeah i started with the oh god i started with the assignment first and that's what i did actually pretty that evening because it was kind of a lot i thought we were going to give him the soft copy we are going to present but then he said he didn't want any of that and that's and i really had the soft copy with me like i tapped everything just ready for the presentation so i had to write it down i wanted to print it out but then i just don't like like i it's been long i wrote so i used the opportunity to just write it out write it down and yeah that's my tea that i got later on i've like drank almost half of it i finished the cup the tea was kind of like super sweet it was not a flavor that i didn't even know which flavor it was it's um indonesian restaurant coffee shop i think yeah it's an indonesian coffee shop so i don't know what flavor of coffee they use um flavor of tea they used i asked for they had this thing on their menu tea coffee so i just ordered that and yeah it was sweet but it was really nice i mean i don't think i'll be getting it Whenever I go back there, I don't, I'm, I'm not going to get it because it's too sweet for me. I'm just going to try out their other options. So guys, what do you think? I, I saw boba on their menu and I've seen like most people talk about this boba drink. I have not tried because I am really conservative about trying out foods. I'm a very picky eater. So anything that I, I don't know, or I have no idea how it tastes or what, it, what, what it's made of. I tend to be like reluctant to try it. So if there is anyone who has tried boba before or who has been to that coffee shop, please just l write, um, let me know in the comment section what you think of it. And also like one thing that uh, about this whole protest thing is that they have like specific dates where they do them. And if there's going to be protest, they kind of give out announcements. You see people posting them. It just goes viral. So it's precautions for one to take safety precautions to not go out you know just stay in one place and also um it's like they have learned how to work around things like that sometimes even though with the protest like their peaceful protest but um they still go on with their normal activities even school and everything so it's really safe and thank you guys so much for that i really appreciate you guys checking up on us and everything thank you so yeah i continued with my assignment i was just writing and writing and writing i think yeah i was done with my tea by then which like i really took my time in finishing that tea it all it got like real cold because it was too sweet for me so even though i have a sweet tooth but it was too sweet for me and i'm trying to watch like what i eat how i take in my sugar intake and everything so yeah i was talking to you guys about um 
me get him back to the gym. Oh my God, the kind of motivation I need to get back to the gym needs motivation on its own. It's like my tired is tired. But I think uh, I'm one of the, like I'm just laid back. I don't know why I'm so laid back about something. If I want to do something, I'll be laid back. But the moment I start it, it will be so hard for me to quit. That's just it. So yeah, I think I had finished writing the assignment by now. Yeah, I was done with it and I logged out and went back home. So I think this is the end of, this is just the right way to end this vlog. Thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you so much for staying and studying with me or like writing an assignment with me. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. If, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share it with everyone. Thank you so much for watch until the end. Bye!